everybody, welcome back to Crafted by Norma. Uh, today I'm just going to go through a mixed media tag. Uh, now I watched Tracy uh, Fox and was quite inspired by what she did. And this is going to be part and parcel of my uh, make do and not mend, but make. So everything I'm going to use is things that I've already got. So I'm not having to buy anything uh, special. I'm just using the stash that I, I've got. So uh, we start off with, uh, I bought these um, activity cards from our local uh, charity shop and you get 50 for a pound and they're about so big but they're ideal to make the size of uh, tag that I'm, I'm after. So what we did to begin with was just take a card and I've just gone and used some PVA glue you can use whatever you want. You can use um, sticky black plastic. Um, you can double-sided tape. Uh, oh gosh, um, PVA glue, Mod Podge, um, whatever it is that uh, you like to use, you can use. So all I did was literally go over and cover one side with some paper. So I like to to use the uh, quite thin paper. Uh, like so and then what I did was um, trim it off so I'll just put this on one side because I've got a piece here that's um, quite dry so I've got a piece here now that's quite dry and I just want to add some other papers to it before I start um, the next process and this is I'm not thinking about it I'm just putting it down so what I'm using here is some uh, coffee stain paper that I've printed some uh, script on and some vintage music score uh, and I'm not thinking about it I'm just throwing it on so don't overthink just go for it and again these are just using scraps that I've had uh, left over from other projects that um, I just feel like I, I want to use now, one of the things that I'm going to take into consideration is I've got a dangly here. Now, I don't want the dangly to go over um, her face. So my dangly is going to be going approximately around there. So it's just uh, for me to uh, remember when I'm adding all the bits and pieces um, to, my, to my piece. There we go. Okay, and I think a piece of script just up there would be ideal. Oops. There we go. Perhaps up there like so. And then we can trim it off um, afterwards. Okay, so there we've got um, our pieces of paper on our on our script. And the next thing I'm going to want to do is just to trim off any edges that overhang. But I want to make it the shape that uh, it is for a card. Now, uh, I don't know where I picked this, this hack up, but it was um, so good. I've just used an old card and I've just trimmed off various sections to be my template for my corners for the tags. Now, so depending on which size tag I'm going to make depends on which corner piece I'm going to use. So I'm just going to trim that off like so and trim down any pieces that's overhanging like so. There we go. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to uh, go over and put some stencils on. So as you can see there I've just put some stencils on. Now I quite like the triangle of this stencil. I've got no idea where I picked it up but it's, it's quite flimsy. It's not one of the expensive ones. And I'm just going to lay it down and just put some of the small diamonds in some of the spaces that I've got. And I'm going to try and keep my colour palette uh, all very uh, neutral. I do like these, um, these tones. There we go. Okay. So the next is going to be the interesting bit. So this is where I like to use, just clear some of this rubbish, um, is the mixed media gel. Now this is uh, Finnabars, 
Art Basics Heavy Body Gel. Uh, and I use it for all sorts. I use it for as a glue. Uh, I use it as a base for um, pigments. And this is what I'm going to use to stencil. Now I have got one that I did a bit earlier. And I've done the stencil in black. And I've used ink for this one. I've, oh, no, I didn't. I guess what I did. I used Distress uh, ink added to the gel to make um, those patterns there. And it is very much, I think, like a um, embossing ink, really, without having the mess of all the bits of powder. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a tile because I like to use a tile so I'm going to get a tile and this is the stencil that we're going to use and it's one of Love Lunches uh, and it's quite tacky on one side which is ideal to adhere to the uh, work that you're going to be uh, using so I'm going to lay that down like so ready and as I say it sort of sticks so it won't move it's the ideal she does a lovely range of um, stencils so next we're going to do is get the the gel and I want some that's going to be approximately about half about half a teaspoon should be enough perhaps a little bit more perhaps a teaspoon do you think uh, and then for this one because I want to have all the colors very similar I don't want to have it quite as harsh as the uh, as the black one I'm going to use some distress um, stain so it's Tim Holtz distress stain you can add anything that you want you can add inks you can add watercolors uh, acrylics um, you can use uh, if you wanted to do some metallics you can use some of the um, silver uh, pastes um, the choice of whatever it is that you want to put into it is never ended you probably might have some of the micro powders they're really good uh, to uh, add to the gel and you're just going to just mix it up into a nice paste now the gel itself will go transparent is it transparent yeah transparent so you won't be able to, to see it will go clear um, once it's dried it'll just take the color that you're adding to it and as I say for this particular project uh, I'm looking for all the colors to sort of uh, blend in together so bring that a bit closer to you you can just see the sort of texture that I've, uh, I've now got now you just got to be careful that if you're using quite a fluid um, paint it might go a bit runny so be extra careful if you're not using one of the sticky down um, stencils because these are ideal because you can smooth over and it will not move at all which is great for what we're after and you just scrape it all into the areas that you want to go in and then you can lift out so just holding it steady lift out and I'm wanting some just to be a bit closer to sort of there so I'm gently going to pat it down and then scrape up the last of my gel and put it along there like so just in that corner and lift off there we go put those to one side ready for cleaning in a minute okay so now you can actually see I don't know whether you can catch out the depth of that uh, I'm just going to give that a quick blast with the uh, heat gun so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we're back. So I've now dried it and it's uh, reasonably dry. It's just a little, a little tacky. And all I'm going to do now is just go around the edges with, um, if I can find my, which I can't, for some unknown reason, here it is with my little ever ready sponge as I say I use the same colours over and over again or very similar colour and I use the same um, sponge and this is a makeup egg that I cut in half uh, and I find that's uh, the easiest 
And the beauty of that is if you put some added water to it, it'll actually stretch it because most of the inks I use are uh, water reactive. So, so there we have our card. And the next stage is now going to build that card up with um, my people. Now I like to use um, Tim Holtz. So if I just find some people in my ever ready stash. Okay, so we'll pick these two little little girls up, I think. I'm not overthinking it, I'm just gonna go with it. So they're going to go about there because we've got our heart that's going to dangle about there. So before I stick them down, I'm going to sort out my heart. So we'll just move these out of the way for a second. And I'm just going to bought these, um, I think they're called, I'm not sure if they're a bezel or if they're a chevron, I can never remember. I think they're a bezel. But all you basically do is you push this down. Now, this is not my idea. Uh, I watched um, Tracy uh, Fox, which gave me the inspiration to do my tags, but I wanted to use the gel because I really like using it and it's an ideal glue and also for medium and it works as a very good resist as well when you're doing mixed media work. So we've got the shape there of the heart and we're just going to cut it out and hopefully it will fit. So, and again, don't really overthink it because So I'm not very good at cutting, as you can perhaps see. I'm not fit in. I just want a little bit of trimming round. That needs trimming to be more of a circle. And that needs to be trimmed about there, I think. Okay, and Yes, that should fit in quite nice. So I'm just going to go around the edges, just distress them just a little bit, and then I'm going to use a little bit of the glue, a tiny bit of the sorry the gel, and I'm going to go into the edges like so, and then that should fit in quite nice. Now what you can do is uh, use your um, glossy accents to cover that to make it um, quite uh, glossy uh, and sort of more like a, a glass finish if you uh, if you want to. Okay, so we've got that. I've got some uh, cotton strands, thick cotton strands there, and I think I'm going to want to have a little tag of some description so let's have a look at my back page because that's where I keep my tags uh, well, well, I think I'll use I'll use that one okay and again I'm not spending hours thinking about it uh, I just want to just run with it I'm sure you don't want to watch me for half an hour deciding what I'm going to do so I try my best just to roll with it okay a little tiny hole in there like so. Get my card and I know the eyeball where I want my hole, just roughly, about so. And I'll go and get one of the. Now, because that's gold, I'm going to go for a gold. A gold one, there we go. To my crocodile. Oh no, I'll put it into my thing first, aren't I? Gosh, come on, Norma, wake up. Oh, in you go. My fingers are getting a bit sticky now. There we go. Now, as you see on the back of the card, what I will eventually do is cover that with uh, brown uh, craft paper just to finish it off. So, we're going to thread, 
thread this through like so we're going to tie it off we're going to thread the little tick it through which again I like like it because it's all the very very similar colors thread that through there like so and then tie that off so right over left left over right and like so again put a little tiny bit of gel when I tie the bow so that it shouldn't come undone there we go Away. So we now know where the little dingle dangle dingles and we can decide then where we're going to put the the girls. Okay. So just go around those quickly with there we go. Some distress ink. And I'm quite happy to have them about there so when that dangles down it's not going to hit either of them. Okay, yeah, quite happy with that. Now where they're going to be I'd like to just shadow them. So again just a quick going over there will give them a bit of a shadow. That's it, that's lovely. And we'll throw some more gel on. Okay. Now because I want them raised up at just a, a tiny touch, you can blob this on quite thick and it'll just raise them up just a little bit. There we go. And we're going to have them like that. So there is a little tiny gap between them. Maybe you can see that and that'll dry at that distance so I'm quite happy with that so all I need now need is some words so let's have a look so some words let's say oh uh, me to you um, fairy tales or oh, tattered and torn oh, I'll put from me to you I think See that there's two of them don't overthink it Norma just go for it so I'm going to trim that off and trim that off and stick that on a piece of black, uh, sorry, brown, some brown cardstock, like so. And then get my big scissors and just trim that down. There we go. And I think I'm going to have that along the side there. So again, just using a little bit of the, the gel that's still on my palette knife. I'm going to run those along there. And there you have a mixed media tag using the heavy duty gel. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Do hope it inspires you. Uh, and you have a go at uh, doing some mixed media tags. Please um, subscribe if you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you again. Thanks. Bye.